Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to work on a wedding image. We're going to take it from here to here in a few easy steps using On One Photo Raw 2023. So let's take this image, go into the edit module. First thing we're going to do is apply a camera profile. Default On One Standard. I like to look through, see what they are doing. That's nice. Perfect. This image, I actually am going to use landscape, even though it's a wedding image. You're allowed to do that. All right, so that's looking good. Let's take a look at our exposure. We are clipping if we look at the right end of the histogram. But that's expected when you're using natural light and you're exposing for the couple. If we look at the exposure on the wedding dress, nothing's being blown out. We can visually see that by going to Option or Alt J. And the region that is being overexposed is the sky. We're going to replace the sky in this image, so that's not a problem at all. Let's see what else we want to do here. Obviously, there's some golfers at the golf course, so we're going to remove those using some of the retouch tools. And we may want to crop in a bit, darken Camelback Mountain so it will frame the bride better, and then replace the sky. So let's get to work. First, we're going to use the healing brush. And that's the letter Q. I'm going to use it for this one. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so that's looking great like that. We'll hit done. Perfect eraser. It's going to work great for these other ones. So that is Shift Q for a shortcut. And let's remove this golfer. And this guy. These white dots also bother me, so let's take those out. So that is looking great. Next, let's go into crop. We can use the new crop grids. The rule of thirds is nice and works well for this image. We'll just bring it up a little bit like that. And that is looking great. Next thing we're going to do is tackle the mountain, make it a little bit darker. And we'll do that using the Super Select AI tool, which is shortcut K. It instantly finds different areas within the image. So we could do the sky, the mountain, the trees the grass, even the groom, the bride, all sorts of things. We're going to do the mountain. We're going into adjustments, tone enhancer, and darker. Add that, and we're done. Here we can play around with the opacity, see what we like. And that's looking pretty nice before, after, it just sets the bride off a little bit. So I like how that's looking. Next, let's go into sky. So many amazing skies in on one photo raw. Let's take a look at some of the Ocudron choices. I really like the Ocudron blustery blue for this image. And there are quite a few choices in each category as well, but I like just how number one is working. Next though, it is a little strong. We can adjust that with the opacity, give it a little bit more believability for the time of day that we were at. And that is looking awesome. I'm going to just finish off this image with a vignette. Add filter, vignette, 
big softy and lower that way down so there's just the hint of it and that looks great it went from here to here in just a sh few short steps thanks again for joining me my name is tom cheswick please like and subscribe and join me on my next edit